Hello, I know you guys are probably as sick of the newbie stuff as I am, but believe it or not, some people out there need this kind of help. So, um, I'm going to do another Photoshop tutorial today, and uh, this one is actually kind of helpful for me and other YouTubers. Um, I'm going to show you how to take an image and turn it into a file that is appropriate for a YouTube profile picture, I guess you would call it. It's not really a profile picture, it's not like Facebook, but I don't really know what else to call it. So, um, here we have this image. Um, this is actually me, if you didn't already know. Well, this was me before the modeling contract. <clears throat> but, so we're going to take this picture of me, which is, you know, normal resolution, and we're going to import it into Photoshop and play around with it, and we're going to make it into this resolution, which it looks bigger, <clears throat> and, but it'll actually uh, look really nice on YouTube. So let's open up Photoshop. I am using CS3. Even though CS5 is out, CS6 is probably right around the corner. So let's open our original file and this is just a picture of me I had laying around so here's our picture now let's just uh, minimize this window for a sec and create a new project and make the width and height 800 by 800 and make sure this is pixels and not inches or centimeters or anything make sure it's pixels and everything else can just be normal so this is our new project and it's blank right now what we're gonna do is take our image that we opened up go to the move tool it's also V on your keyboard. Excuse me. So get your move tool selected and you're just going to drag your picture onto your new project. And we can exit out of that now and maximize this window and you can see we have this picture in a blank workspace. So I want to fill this picture up to fill the entire white space. So make sure that this layer is selected down in the layers palette. Hit control T or command T if you're on a Mac and this will bring up your bounding box. Now we can uh, change the shape and size of it, but um, don't do that. What you want to do is change the shape and size, but make sure you're holding down shift so that it constrains the proportions like this. And we're going to make it really, really big and then try and fill this up and just try and center it, make it look good. Uh, maybe a bit bigger. Don't worry, it looks kind of blurry and pixelated right now. But once it's up on YouTube, it shrinks it down and it looks really good. So once you got your size set, just hit enter on your keyboard to get rid of the bounding box. And you know, this is probably good by itself, but I'm just going to show you a quick, easy tutorial on the spot healing brush to make yourself look a bit better. I have a few blemishes on my skin right here. I don't have the best skin in the world. You want to go up here to this band-aid icon. That's the spot healing brush. And you can change your brush size by using the square bracket keys. I should just call them bracket keys because that's what they are, but most people confuse brackets with parentheses, but that's a different story. So make your um, brush size about the size of your blemish. I have one right there, so make it about that size and just click on it, and Photoshop will automatically guess what should be there in, pla in place of a blemish. And it also works for cuts and miscolorations and stuff like that. Um, sometimes it doesn't work too good, though, but for the most part, if you're just doing small areas, it works great. So I'm just getting rid of any imperfections. Ooh, that's a nasty one up there. And see, I screwed up there, and you're going to want to hit Control Z to undo that. And uh, for some reason in Photoshop, you can't just keep hitting Control Z. You hit Control Z once, then you hold Control Alt Z to keep going backwards, and then there we go. And that's looking pretty good, I guess. Okay, fix that again. Actually, no. Okay, so for this area, I'm going to have to use the clone stamp tool because it's not really doing good automatically. Clone stamp tool is very similar. What you do is you have your brush and you hold alt and you sample an area. So I would do right here and then you paste it, basically. And I could probably fix my lip there. It's kind of cut. Maybe the spot healing brush will do it. Mm, I guess so. It looks pretty good, I guess. Yeah, sure. And you could also add an adjustment layer and screw around with the hue saturation. You can make it black and white if you want. Saturation all the way down and it's black and white. I don't like that at all though. Um, what about the levels? Do the levels. <clears throat> Generally what I do with levels is I take these first two ones and I push them slightly to the right and then I take this last one and push it slightly to the left. So you do that. Here's a before. Here's an after. I'm just going to stick with the normal colors. But you can do all sorts of stuff like that. And there's tons of tutorials out there that will show you filters and adjustment layers in great detail. But here's my final picture, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. 
file save as, save it to just my desktop, call it whatever I want. I'll call it two since I already have one called picture one and make sure that it's not at photoshop.psd file. Do JPEG or PNG and you're good to go. And make sure your quality set all the way up and hit okay. And now we have a nice image file that works great on YouTube. So here's the one we just created and then here's my other one that I had before. And it's pretty good. So we go to Firefox now, YouTube, settings. I don't know why they keep changing this all the time. Ooh, 19,998. Oh, that is, it really hurts me to see. I can't wait for it to, oh my God. Anyways, so you would go to change here. Whoops, don't click on the picture. Click on the icon underneath it that says change. So if you were to put in a normal picture, you're likely to find that it would look something like this. Just let, let it save. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. You'll see you'll get these black bars and stuff. So that's normally what's going to happen when you upload a normal picture. But with our new picture, which is in 800 by 800 screen resolution, it will look a lot better. Especially since we use the spot healing brush to clean ourselves up. And you can also do techniques to whiten your teeth, make your tits bigger if you're a girl whatever but that's a different story so this is looking good hit save changes and now we got a nice profile picture and I'll probably keep this for a bit because I'm sick of seeing the traditional you know Techtopia logo I guess it's been known to be called now that's looking pretty good alright so hope you enjoyed this little video thanks for watching